years I've been to so many places that this is different. I feel so happy, so thrilled. When I saw all this young, just like when I was the raw then, when we ran around, I saw them and I was, I look up like this, almost getting tears of joy. And uh, it's a different kind of experience, really. It's not a thing that we can put by a ton of people and say we are right. So let me say that since I've become governor, this is I think my happiest day. Senator Ibikunle Amosu, Governor of Ogun State, going down memory lane at the commissioning of a new model block of classrooms built by the Old Students Association of his alma mater of the African Church Grammar School at Birkuta. For the youth of our children, all the students that will be that are in this beautiful school, I want to commission this in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Inshallah. So let's. During the occasion, Governor Amosu also reiterated the importance of qualitative education for all. Education. It's probably the most important thing. It's the most important thing that anybody can give. Even to our children, to your brothers, to your friends, all of you. Nothing that can be given that will be more than education. That has been demonstrated, really. And that is why for me and for us as a government, we believe that the greatest gift that we can give to the good rule of the state is to give our children sound education. Of a truth, education is of great importance to any society. Little wonder then that the first point in this administration's cardinal program is affordable and qualitative education. In line with this program, the Senator Ibikunle Amosun led administration has taken several steps and launched various schemes towards restoring the good old days in the education sector in the state. Education remains the best legacy any parent or government can give its young ones. As such, no investment in the sector is wasted. It is in line with this that the Ibikunle Amusung administration has promised to do much for the education sector in his mission to rebuild the state. One was the administration's promise to build model schools across the three senatorial districts in the state. Thus, in fulfillment of this promise, when the administration clocked one year in office, the foundation stone of these model schools were laid. This was part of the activities marking the one-year celebration. <laughs> to ensure that this project is completed on schedule, the government of Senator Ibikunle Amosun ensures constant monitoring of the execution of the project. So far things have moved on very well. We, we can see that um, in fact ex excavation has started here and um, the, the clearing has been completed. We're very fortunate that we have a very good terrain here. Um, work is pretty good. We're going to move the hostel building for where it's been originally sited to another location that will fit in with the vision and the um, uh, philosophy of the, of the administration to ensure that we have a very good layout and we create opportunities for expansion if we need to do so. The special advisor also spoke on the activities of the construction company, considering the time frame. Company on this site, um, Areo, 
uh, construction company, I believe, have been very, very cooperative with us because they've actually supported us uh, throughout our work. They've done most of our layout drawings for us um, as part of the CSR, uh, supporting the government. Um, so I'm happy uh, so far. We'll walk through our work plan to see at what point of the work plan this project is. But so far, so good. Also, in line with this, the Commissioner for Education was recently at the site of the model school at Okiako. Because of the pressure of the letter. Oh, okay. Okay, well... All the outer walls. Okay. You no, know, all these ones are over four or five courses, yeah. courses of block. So you have to cover this thing. Uh, we're supposed to hand everything over by December. Uh, by December, the fit out and everything to complete by February next year. Uh, the February for the fit out, but the works itself, the main works will be done by December this year. So yes. To... We, will, we, will, we will definitely, we will definitely finish. We will definitely finish. Okay. Where? The expected structures in the model school include hostel blocks, laboratories, staff rooms, classrooms, and football fields. The communities in which the projects are sited are also in full cooperation with the contractors to ensure the successful and hitch-free completion of the projects. Luckily, we were in a, in a location where very industrial and skilled people are bound. So all our workmen, mostly, are, 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 they are from the community. And of course, they also provide us with accommodation. We have nice quarters in the village, and then uh, they also feed us. At the project site at Ijebuodi, work is in full swing to ensure that the project is delivered on time. It, it, it's a beautiful site because of the rain. Oh, yes. I know that's all right. It's a wonderful site. We commend um, those contractors. We can see that um, gradually, of course, we are beginning the structures they are coming up. I think, uh, of course, we will meet the deadline. So I want to say that uh, we're satisfied. Uh, we only will um, plead with them too, uh, not to relent on the efforts, but to double that effort, because uh, we have a target. And uh, But I think, by and large, we are satisfied with the pace of those that we have visited, that uh, definitely it uh, is coming up. Tell the proprietor that this person is not a teacher. Eh? The minimum for for anybody to teach is MCE. One other step that the administration has taken in the education sector is the sanitization of the system. Since quality is the watchword, the State Ministry of Education has been clamping down on illegal schools in the state. To this end, a number of schools were visited. The aim of the exercise is to ascertain which school is registered and whether they are qualified to give qualitative education to the children of Ugun State. During this exercise, some school buildings were observed to be not conducive enough for learning the qualification of some of the teachers also left a lot to be desired. In furtherance to these observations, the Ogun State Ministry of Education commenced the revalidation and re-registration exercise of private schools in the state. The exercise was aimed at knowing for certain the number of private schools operating and whether or not they are truly fit to provide qualitative education. A stern warning also followed in the case of non-adherence to the call for revalidation. And um, we expect that um, all private primary schools in Ogu State should have been here within that period. Because when the exercise closes tomorrow, of course we'll begin the clamp down of those schools that did not come to revalidate. According to the Commissioner for Education, the exercise will continue as more inspections will be carried out by the Ministry. Some school proprietors speak on the importance of such revalidation exercise. It will make the private schools, number one, to unite together 
and uh, it will make uh, all the illegal I mean schools to go and register. It will make them also to register because there are many schools that are not registered and they are not operating their school uh, the way they should do. So this registration will also challenge the non-registered school to do that and also to work with the government of Ogun State. It will help every one of us that have approved our school to jail up one. And secondly, when you consider the, the tuition fee and the income we are realizing, we are in one way or the other affected because of most schools around us that are illegal. Keeping to the promise of providing qualitative and affordable education in Ogun State, the Ministry of Education is also looking at some libraries and schools that are in dire need of restructuring and renovation. Some of those already inspected for this purpose are the Alaja Salamatu Kuku Memorial Library, Ijebuode, Our Lady of Apostles Secondary School, also in Ijebuode, Muslim School, Ikeneremo, and the Ogun State Library Board, Shagamu, amongst others. We are assessing them, of course, to, we want to bring them to a standard of um, what uh, a library should look like or what uh, a library should, uh, should have. And so that's why we're going around, we're assessing it, and at the end of the day, we'll go back um, and uh, we'll look at um, the individual needs so that we can then make up and see what and what we need to get to make it a standard library. The director of the Ogun State Library Board, Mr. Latif Benson, speaks on the derivable benefits to be enjoyed when the libraries are brought up to standard. It will attract more patronage. To the libraries will be stored with the books and people will come to read and improve their academic development in the society, in the community. At Our Lady of Apostles Secondary School, the commissioner noted that the number of expected students in the new session was more than the capacity of the school. 600. Yes, sir. Those are good. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, one. Yes. But are you not going to admit those who have capacity to carry? No, you admit only those who have ah, capacity for. for them. The special advisor to the governor on education suggested solutions to the problem. We need to look around. We cannot concentrate them in one school. There are other schools that actually don't are not full. We need to distribute these kids. So the fact that they have chosen this school does not mean we have to bring them here if we don't have the space here. A permanent solution, however, is being worked out to tackle the problem. We're going around to assess the uh, the, the, the the needs in terms of the classrooms so and uh, for our lady of course we've been able to identify the number of classrooms that will, will require between now and the time when the children uh, will resume so we'll, we'll go back and ensure that we plan it well to meet up that that the target but I know that there won't be any problem mm. at the Muslim school Ikene Remo which has just been established the commissioner acknowledged the efforts of the management of the school What we have seen today, we've seen a standard, at least with the facilities that we have on ground, and um, with the number, the, I mean, the, the intakes that are to resume in September, I'm sure that uh, the facilities that we have on ground here, uh, they, are, they, are, they, are far, they are far in excess of um, what um, uh, 20 students um, uh, could um, utilize. So we want to say that um, with what we've seen, uh, we are impressed. All these efforts at ensuring qualitative education are inclusive of periodically organized trainings for both principals and teachers to bring them abreast of better ways to help their students.
One of such was the training on strategic management recently organized for school principals and vice principals in the state. We shall take a walk to the ground floor where we have space outside. So I have gone to survey the place, I have located the place where we are going to do the evaluation. Continuity and sustainability of all these initiatives is bound to yield fruit and ensure that the glory of the good old days of education in Ogun State is restored. And that is what the Ibikunle Amusung administration is committed to doing investing in the education of the people towards a balanced development of the Gateway State. Ogun State has been known as one of the pioneer states in the history of Nigeria's education sector. Over time, however, the story changed, as its development did not live up to expectations. But today, it is being revived with multifaceted changes that are designed to bring the sector back to the path of development. Some stakeholders speak on the new trend, which includes the training and retraining of those operating in the sector. I have to appreciate the state government for at least deeming it fit to retrain teachers. You know, we cannot be stagnant. And uh, without having this type of uh, interactive uh, sessions, you know, we can have some of us that will be compla uh, complacent, that will not even know the, the right thing to do at the right time. This thing serves as a reminder to the principals on duty on the posts and the vice principals. And the government is spending a lot of money ensuring that uh, we are up to the task from time to time. I want to say a big thank you to the state government for the opportunity afforded us that has been given unto us you know, concerning this program. We have really benefited a lot from the program. The program has you know, opened our eyes even to so many things. We, and by now, we are ready to be agents of change, you know, as we have thought, been taught in the program. So we want to say a big thank you to the uh, state government. And we say more power to their elbow for this kind of thing. In the area of renovation of schools still going on in the state, stakeholders are truly grateful for the transformations taking place quite a long time that we have been writing, we've written a lot concerning this school. It was so dilapidated, roofing, uh, broken, everything like that, even in the past gov government. I think. We wrote a lot and uh, we did not see any help. Quite uh, he came into office, we wrote again and we wrote even to the uh, IGA, suburb ministry, everywhere. But we thank God he quickly come to our aid by re, uh, building, renewing this school. In fact, uh, the governor has been a very wonderful governor. Within the shortest time he has entered into, into the office, he has started uh, a lot of uh, renovation of schools, of which our school is one of them. And uh, we really appreciate it. Even the PTA really appreciate what uh, the governor has done for us. We have really appreciated our governor. He bought some textbooks for students, and there are many changes, especially our laboratory. So there are done some damages in our laboratory before, but there have been new changes in it. So some textbooks, notebooks, and everything. We have really appreciated him. Even our school has been has been very changed now. Yeah, I really appreciate the governor because. He's been supportive in the times of education because 
when, according to his promise in during the campaign section, he promised to give us free education and that has been put into practice and we really appreciated him. Unto whom much is given, much is expected. Thus, as this administration makes efforts to ensure qualitative education, the citizenry has a duty to support it in the mission to rebuild the state and restore its lost glory. On the 3rd of September 2012, the Executive Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikunle Amosum, played host to the Ambassador of Japan to Nigeria in his office at the State Secretariat, Okemosa. Speaking, the Ambassador gave a brief history of his stay in Nigeria and the important role Ogun State plays in the industrial sector of the country. It is very natural for diplomats to, to visit states, especially so in Nigeria. Nigeria taking a federal uh, system of politics, political system, and, and the states play a very, very important role. Yes. But uh, uh, Ogun is also a special uh, among the 36 states. Uh, historically, Nauru states play a very important role and a pioneer's role in many fields. And uh, again, the, uh, uh, geographically, the state is located just uh, north of Lagos, Lagos the center of the industry and economics of the country. He further expressed his delight at visiting the state and explained that Japan is willing to invest in viable business in the state as well as help in any area of challenge. In his usual custom, Governor Amosun, who is keen on investment and collaboration that will improve the industrial and commercial standing of the state, was delighted to receive them. We really cannot wait to embrace uh, your country, Japan, to assist us in Ogo State. There are so many areas in which we can collaborate, and I'm particularly treat with this, uh, the Japanese ODA, which will more or less give us what we call long-term uh, uh, finance, of course, of projects that will develop uh, human endeavor. We want you to help us to build our capacity. Apart from financial and industrial assistance, he also enumerated the potentials of Ogun State and listed the areas where Japan could partner with the state. We have the potentials. We have the land, we have the resources. We don't see uh, any reason why all these Japanese automobile giants cannot have a, a, an assembling plant in local state. We have the land to give you. We have the manpower. And of course, that will blossom our economy and it will deepen the relationship between Nigeria and Japan. Also on the 4th of September, top management staff of Diamond Bank paid a courtesy call to the governor. In his address, the chief executive officer of Diamond Bank, Dr. Alex Oti, noted the ongoing transformation in Ogun State and placed the support of the bank towards achieving the desired goals of the present administration in the state. For us in Diamond Bank, uh, we believe in partnership. So what we have come here to do today is not to ask for account. We've come to, uh, first of all, congratulate you because this is the first time we are coming since uh, you took over the office of the executive governorship. Uh, also to uh, identify with the, your transformational agenda and uh, I could see a whole lot of it as I drove from Lagos. Uh, it is difficult to know when you have left Lagos and when you've entered Ogun State. And uh, I think uh, you are one of the leaders that have identified that uh, every state is contiguous to another. Responding, Governor Amosun 
explained the importance of a successful public-private partnership in the state. Government can only create the enabling environment. It is the private sector that can really, really help government to drive even all the ideas. And any government that wants to succeed must have the input of the private sector. Indeed, what they seek to achieve in Ogo State is to more or less make it a private sector driven government. He also assured the team that any business entered into with the state government would be backed by law. For comments, questions, and observations, send a text to the GSM number displayed on your screen. Or send an email to A part of rebuilding our beloved Gateway State. Amogun Isheya.